Hey everyone, Blake here. Just doing an update to some of the training that we did earlier this week. So when I was doing the first set of training, the simulation was running for 250 steps. And I was noticing some behavior that made me think that it was really trying to optimize just for that particular time frame because it happened very, very quickly and some of the board has gotten bigger and so it takes more time to get somewhere. So in this case, I upped the time, I doubled it to 500 steps and I re-ran the training. I had some interesting things with training and I think we've ended up in a really good spot. Uh, this is a tough problem. It is, the controls on this are a little challenging, right? You can get out of control fairly easily, so maintaining control of the vehicle is very important. And so you'll see in some of these cases, the algorithm does a good job of maintaining control of the vehicle. And then other times it will actually go out of control. So what you're looking at right now is, ooh, look at that, it improved itself. I've never seen it do that before. Um, so what you're seeing is uh, the 5 million iterations. Um, each uh, million iterations takes me about two hours to compute on uh, this current system. So I generally run it overnight. It's a good mix, right? If it runs more than overnight, then it's hard to kind of reset some parameters and kick it off again in the morning, and then you've burned an entire day. But at the 10 hour mark, it's pretty good. Um, you know, much shorter than that, and then it could be training more overnight. Um, so I, I really like the 10 hour mark. Uh, I think it's a kind of a good happenstance place, and you see it crashed a bunch of times. Um, so this is at 5 million, so this is one night's worth of training. And then I also have a version with 10 million iterations, which is a bit more than I like. Uh, again, though, still it's like overnight, and then, um, you know, I'll go to work the next day, and, uh, you know, it'll do this. What I find interesting is there are slight differences in behavior of these two um, the 5 million and the 10 million, neither of them is super optimized. They have both uh, play very well. They better they play better than a person will, but they're not super duper optimized. Um, you'll see like he landed really far away from the marker here. Now uh, he's going to survive. And I find that the 10 million iteration version seems to have a longer life from what I can tell anecdotally, uh, but the uh, 5 million uh, training mark actually seems to get, well, it doesn't seem to. On average, it has a better score according to TensorBoard. So let me show you where we are with TensorBoard. So um, we are able to, in Unity Machine Learning Agents, if you run through, say, 5 million points of training, you can actually go back into the um, YAML file, right? So this uh, you know, trainerconfig.yaml. And then you can go back into your basic brain. You can change your max steps and you could even change some of your other values if you wanted to, you know, once it stopped and then you can restart. So if you started with 5 million and weren't happy with the results, you can change this max steps to be 10 million and then kick it off again. Now, it does mean that uh, for some values, such as the learning rate, which decrease over the episode, that's not going to reset all the way back to the beginning, right? It's going to reset proportionally. So if you start at 5 million and said, okay, now I want to go to 10 million, the learning rate is going to stop, start halfway through it. So I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see we started, we did our training, it got pretty decent. And then at 5 million, I restarted the training, we took a big dip because that learning rate changed again, there was more entropy in the system, and then it relearned. And then over time, interestingly, it got a little worse. Now, where it ended up is, while technically worse than where the 5 million ended up, there is so much variance in the scores that this gets. I'm not sure that the difference between 13.95 uh, and... Um, 13.79, oh, that's actually a tiny bit higher. Um, but I don't think it's statistically significant. So it looks like it's better. It's probably not actually really that much better again because the variance in the scores are very, very high for this. So 
as these systems learn and improve, I think the variance is going to start coming down. It could converge and really get really, really good. The question is, is how long is it going to take to do that? And I think the answer is it's going to take quite a bit of time to do that, which means that we are in a perfect point for branching off into exploring other avenues of learning. So this is where we can get into academy learning and where we can get into imitation learning because we may be able to get similar results or better results sooner by using those mechanisms. All right, so that is the cumulative reward. Here's the episode length. And again, right at the 5 million mark, right, the average episode length was 350. That's out of 500. And then at the very end here, it's 356 out of 500, right? So, all right, anecdotally, again, it is a tiny bit more. But again, there's so much variance in these numbers. I don't think it's really statistically significant. Um, and again, you'll see, you know, you go to the 5 million mark and then it drops down as it starts exploring. It starts crashing more, right? The episodes get shorter and shorter. And then as it learns again, it gets longer and longer. And then here is my learning rate. So this is where you can really tell that I restarted the system is it starts up here and then goes all the way to zero. And that's where I ended my first batch. And then when I restarted, I restarted and said 10 million instead of 5 million. And so it picked up here and says, okay, I'm halfway done. And therefore my learning rate is halfway between the beginning value and the end value of zero. So you can tell this, this is a dead giveaway that um, the simulation has been restarted and additional training was tacked on. Again, I do think with more training, we could find um, that there is more ways to optimize or it will optimize. But I want to show you as this is playing, I'm going to turn on the visualization. There are some interesting behaviors. We'll see if it just did, does it. Luck of the draw here. Um, normally when it comes down, if it comes down anywhere in this lighter region, this is the positive reward. It's going to be satisfied. It's going to consider it close enough right? It's losing control, trying to regain control. There it goes, and it lands. That was awesome. Um, so it's more likely to land successfully in here. It's going to crash more outside of that. Um, but this is also one where I think we could help the optimization along. Now, as you see, so it came to a rest there. It said, eh, I'm in the positive reward zone. Good enough. I'm just going to land here and stay here every now and then. You know, we'll see a little fine tune adjustments um, or it'll land outside. Uh, it doesn't do that a lot, though. Um, it usually crashes more like that. And again, he's on the edge, getting just a little bit of score and says, eh, good enough. So I think this is where um, an academy approach may be really helpful, is that you start with these big open uh, reward zones and then you make the reward zones smaller and smaller and with the different iterations so that's one thing I want to play with but I know another thing that people are very interested in uh, so I think it's going to be the next thing that I pursue, pursue is imitation learning where you'll have a player actually playing the game and then the machine will learn from that and now I don't know for this particular framework whether or not we will go from there and if you give it a rough guidance of how to behave and then we can take that brain save it and then put it through a couple million iterations and get even better so that it starts optimizing or, or not so uh, i'm actually going to learn about that a bit this weekend and hopefully um, monday or wednesday i will have an updated video and we'll be getting into imitation learning so there it is. Any questions, comments, feel free to put them in this uh, comment section below. I will, as always, try to do my best to answer them. And in the meantime, happy learning.